Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the history of the Peru men's national soccer team. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. The country of Peru has a population of about 33 million people. It's located in western South America. The National Soccer Federation is a member of CONMEBOL, which is the South American Confederation in FIFA. The Peru national team plays its home matches at the Estadio Nacional del Peru in Lima, which holds about 45,000 people. The Peruvian Football Federation was created in 1922 and joined FIFA in 1924. Its official name is Federación Peruana de Fútbol and is abbreviated as F. P.F. The Peruvian national team's nickname is La Blanqui Roja, which translates from Spanish as the white and reds. It comes from the country's kit color. The Peru National Federation crest is a simple design of two vertical red stripes on either side of a white stripe. The stripes look exactly like the national flag of Peru. In the middle of the crest are the letters of FPF, which stand for the official Spanish name of the federation. The colors of red and white came from the first flag of Peru created by Jose de San Martin. When San Martin first arrived on the continent, a flock of red and white flamingos supposedly flew on the side of his boat. The red and white also supposedly symbolized the Incas, which was the ancient Native American culture that lived in what is now Peru. The flag has gone through a couple different designs since San Martin's arrival, but the colors of red and white have remained. The Peruvian national team has played at five World Cup finals tournaments, including the 2018 World Cup. The country's best ever finish was seventh place at the 1970 World Cup. From a continental competition perspective, Peru has participated in 31 Copa Americas in its history, and it has won the Copa America on two occasions in 1939 and 1975. Peru qualified for the 2018 World Cup by finishing 5th in Commable World Cup qualifying. It then won a playoff over New Zealand to qualify for the tournament. Peru is in Group C for the 2018 World Cup group stage. I'd like to highlight three of the best players in Peru's history in this section. First up, Teofilo Cubillas is considered the greatest Peruvian player of all time. At 20 years old for the 1970 World Cup, Cubillas made the best 11 for the tournament, won the Young Player of the Tournament Award, and also won the bronze ball given to the third best player at the tournament. Pele tipped him to be his successor as the best player in the world. Cubillas would go on to have an amazing club and national team career where he led Peru to the 1975 Copa America title. That was the country's most recent major trophy. He's an absolute superstar in the eyes of Peruvian fans. The next player I'd like to mention is Hugo Sotil. He was a teammate of Cubillas on the Peruvian team from the 1970s. He was one of the best midfielders in the world and played club soccer with Johan Cruyff at Barcelona. His off-field antics and late-night schedule did not endear him with managers, but he performed on the pitch. And Claudio Pizarro is the last player I want to mention here. He became the first Peruvian player to play in the Bundesliga in Germany when he made his debut for Werder Bremen in 1999. He's had an incredible Bundesliga career, scoring a league goal in every calendar year since 1999 and at time of recording it's 2018. His national team career has had ups and downs including a suspension in 2008, but he's always been a great goal scorer. He's still in contention to possibly play at the 2018 World Cup, even though he's 39 years old. And speaking of the 2018 World Cup, a couple of players to keep your eyes on at this tournament. The star player for Peru is going to be Jefferson Farfan, who is a winger for Lokomotiv Moscow in Russia. Tim Vickery, who covers South American soccer on the fantastic BBC Radio 5 Lives World Football Phone-In Show, has described him as an incredibly frustrating and inconsistent player because he can be world-class at times. But he can also just disappear in matches. If he's on his game at the World Cup, he could really stand out for Peru. And a breakout player to keep your eyes on is going to be Christian Cueva, who is a 26-year-old attacking midfielder who plays for Sao Paulo in Brazil. He, that is one of the biggest clubs in South America. Peru's international rival is Chile. 
Matches between Chile and Peru are known as the Pacific Classico. The rivalry can be traced to a war in the late 1800s between the two nations. Additionally, from a soccer perspective, each country claims to have invented the bicycle kick. They have met 79 times with Chile dominating the series. Chile has won more than half of the matches, while Peru have only won about a quarter. Peru's all-time record appearance holder is Roberto Palacios with 128 caps. The country's record goal scorer is Paulo Guerrero with 33 goals at time of recording, and he's still an active player, so he could be adding to that tally. And one last interesting fact for you, English manager Malcolm Allison allegedly was so impressed with the Peru national team kits in the 1970s that included a red sash across a white shirt that he implemented similar kits at the clubs of Crystal Palace and Manchester City in England. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Peru men's national soccer team. If you have anything else to add to our discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!